Hi everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. Today's video is going to be a look inside the Math Journey Through book series. There are eight books in this series and they range from third through seventh grade. The concepts are all different within each book. Each book has 11 to 12 missions within it and they all include an answer key and a glossary in the back. I will show you within each one of these and show you the concepts that are covered in them. But first, I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about them. So in the eight books you have, um, in the series, you have Animal Kingdom, Planet Earth, Human Body, Space, Wonders of the World, Ocean, Extreme Sports, and Computer Games. So there's a ton of different topics covered. These books would be fantastic for if you have a child who's very interested in one particular topic, let's say computer games is their love. This would be a great way to include math and something that they love. It would be a great way to show them how to use math in the real world. Let's say you're going to do a unit study on zoology. This would be a great way to include some math in a unit study that includes animals or planet earth or space or the human body. So if you just wanted to get some extra math in on a specific subject, this would be a great way to do that. Or if you're looking to include some math in the real world for your child, or if you just have a kid who is very excited about one particular topic and you want to get some extra math in, that would be a great way to do it too. So these books can serve multiple different purposes. All right, I think for the most part, I have them in the order of what I personally feel is easiest to hardest. So I'm gonna show you inside this so you can make that decision for yourself. So the first one we're going to look inside is the Animal Kingdom. Just so you can see the contents. And then like I said, they are broken up into missions. So each page spread is a mission. So you can see that this is mission one and you're gonna be learning about adding and subtracting and you are adding ants. So it gives you your mission at the very top, which is your first mission is to find out how many ant eaters, sorry, your first mission is to find out how much ant eaters eat in the South American grasslands. However, an ant eater has broken into your lab and some ants have gone missing. You can add and subtract numbers with two, three, or more digits by lining them up in columns. So then it walks you through how to do this concept. And then you have a go figure section. And the go figure section, that's kind of like where you're gonna be doing your work. So it says you have counted the number of ants left in the storage boxes and written the numbers on the side. And then you're gonna answer these questions. List the number of ants in the boxes starting with the largest number. Originally there were 200,000 ants in each box. How many ants were there all together? How many ants are left? How many ants are missing? How many whole boxes of 200,000 ants could you make if you combine the remaining ants? And how many ants would be left over? So that is mission one. So within this book, you're covering addition and subtraction, perimeter and area, expressions, symmetry, stem and leaf plots, quadrants and coordinates, place value, triangles, polygons, working with tables, multiplication properties, and working with time and tables. And then like I said, you have your answers, and your glossary in the back of each one. So that is the animal kingdom. Within planet Earth, you have working with large numbers, tallies and frequency tables, working with money, cubic units and volume, Roman numerals, Scale drawing and multiplying numbers with it, zeros. Division. Positive and negative numbers. Pictograms. Line plots and line graphs. Plane and solid shapes. And working with time. In human body. We have number sense, 
working with tables and bar graphs, percentages, mixed operations, working with fractions, averages, decimals and fractions, using expressions and equations, ratios, tables, trends, and graphs, triangles, and convert imperial and metric units. Within space, we have rounding numbers and estimating, working with time, angles, Properties of addition, decimals, showing inequalities, pie charts, number patterns, multiplying and dividing with decimals, 3D shapes, probability, and then that is it for space. For Wonders of the World, we have, <clears throat> sorry, we have pyramids, nets, and surface areas, transformations and symmetry, comparing and rounding numbers, large numbers, long multiplication, area, and short division, hectares, and multiplying by 100, negative numbers and temperature, golden ratio and golden rectangles, area and formula, algebra and formula, excuse me, fractions and percentages, circles and measurements, and data handling. For ocean, the concepts covered are negative numbers, percentages and percentage change, four quadrant coordinates, graphs and averages, reading gauges and calculating speeds, linear graphs, proportions as fractions and decimals, area and perimeter, surface area to volume ratio, large numbers and exponents, circles and columns, and formula and substitution. Within extreme sports, we have mental addition, decimals, ratios and similar triangles, area, angle and scale drawings, percentages, circles, coordinates and negative numbers, right angled triangles and tangents, measurement conversions, mean, median, and mode averages, and angles and speed. And then in the last one, computer games, we have ratios, speed, distance, and time, four quadrant coordinates, large numbers and place value, 3D shapes and volume, percentages and value for money, time intervals, solving equations, linear graphs, 
fractions and percentages. Geometrical translations and the Pythagorean theorem in angles and quadrilaterals. Okay, the last thing I want to let you guys know in case you're planning to have your child do these independently is that animal kingdom, planet earth, human body, and space are all for guided reading level R according to the back of the books. Ocean, wonders of the world, and extreme sports are all guided reading level S according to the back of the books and computer games is guided reading level T according to the back of the book. So that way you know what reading level they're at in case you want to make sure that your child is at that reading level. Mm -hmm.